Hi there, let's continue with the skinning, but before I want to do a couple of things here. The first one is I want to to add again the uh, the connections between the joints because I want to add uh, gimmick joints. To add the gimmick joints, we need to go to rigging gimmick joints and add it from this menu. Uh, and the other thing I want to do is uh, here on the when we use the roundness thing. This part here was uh, kind of broken. We we saw it in the in another video, and that the the reason is because I I just uh, mistake the connection in in the uh, the guide. So we're gonna fix this at the same time. So um, to do that, the first thing I want to do is uh, ensure that I don't have any custom notes from ng skin tools. Then export my uh, uh, rig uh, skinning. So just go skinning, export skin, and I'm just gonna save it as a skin start. Yes, all right. Okay, so now we just need to detach the skin and delete the rig. Now we go back to the guide. Let's hide the geometry here. So the first thing is activate the separated joint structure. This will create the, the joint structure and the behavior structure separated and connect the joints. And now uh, let's create uh, or fix the issue with the connection here. So the reason because I, I, I mean, it didn't connect properly is because I used this as a parent for the hand but the parent of the hand should be the palm that is this la last one the effector because i reserve this connector or this position to connect for things that should be on the wrist for instance if we have a watch or something like that um that's a common mistake i i did this some time ago but still sometimes like in this case like mistake in that so no worry just need to go here reparent under this and that's all we can do the symmetric part here so like deleting and creating symmetry but I'm just gonna do it by hand so reparenting and reparenting here so that's all that's fixed so let's save a new version and uh, rebuild the thing so I'm just gonna show the geometry and rebuild this should uh, create the connections on the joints and reapply our skinning It's taking a few seconds. Okay. So now we have our uh, skin back, join connections back, and the roundness is working properly. And the skinning for the roundness is also nicer than before because we redid it in the last video with the um, uh, joint separated. So now it's uh, much better. Okay, cool. So we have this ready. Let's uh, hide the guide again. And I'm going to start adding um, the gimmick joints. So we have to, I mean, this is just a regular joint. And these are the two ones that I want to use. This, this uh, blended joint. Well, indeed, this support joint, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to show you. And uh, for the moment, I'm just going to use the blended one. So I'm just going to add one by one I will add one here another here on the um, on the wrist shoulder shoulder here and again here on the wrist and as I, as I say you can add the support joints that are mainly this extra gimmick joint and later you can use it to add extra deformations here maybe with some set driving keys or rbf solver to to drive this position in relation with the other positions uh, i don't use it that much this um because i found it it's it's better it's more uh controllable uh, to use plane shapes and nowadays with the like like rbf solvers and shape tools is quite easy to do and also it's more artistically controllable because uh, with uh, gimmick joints 
you always have uh, some limits in terms of how many joints, how much smooth. And at the end, I, I for my experience, I, I, I've been working with systems that it's only gimmick and it takes super long to do it, but it takes even longer to have any retake or any correction because it's it's a very uh, complex balance on the skinning and the set driving key. So you don't know if you change the set driving key or you change the skinning and back and forward and it's super complex. So I rather prefer to have um, simple gimmick joints and then the rest of the deformation I handle it by uh, plane shapes. There's other things, of course, like uh, Delta Mash things and other more complex deformers. So, but well, we're gonna use these as uh, the basics. Um, this is created by hand now. Uh, by using this menu, we will later create it with the um, with uh, scripts. There is a command there that you just need to put the name of the joints, and it will create it for you. Also, I'm creating one by one because I just detected uh, before one bug uh, on the naming that is I select one more than one, it will create the joints, but the naming is gonna keep the original one. So it's it's uh, something I, I will fix probably uh, the next weeks. It's not a big problem right now, but yeah, just bear in mind that maybe you want to select several at the same time and add it like this and this and add. So it's gonna create it. I mean, it's the, the the behavior, everything is good, but the naming is blend blend left, and this is uh, blend left. So this is this is not good. So if you do it like this, you can see now it's uh, the correct naming. By the way, if you wonder how it's the connection, we can graph it. So basically, it's using a fair blend. And you have the input of the parent and the sibling join, and it's uh, blended at 50% with uh, quaternion rotations, the rotation interpolation. So that's it. It's very simple, but that's the reason because if we don't have the joints connected, it's it's much harder to get this difference on rotation. So it's mu much harder to get the blended join. Okay, I'm gonna add a couple more here on the. Uh, oh. I did it. Shot one, one, and another. So we have blended and the ankles, hip, shoulders, neck, wrist, arms. Okay, I think for the example it's gonna be enough. Just gonna save another version here. And okay, this is ready. Let's add this to the skin cluster so to do that i'm just gonna select all my joints so blend whatever joint so i have 11 gimmick joints here select my skin and skinning edit influence don't forget to check log weights and apply so now I need to unlock this so I can paint it. So I go skin and paint weights options. And I unlock with these little locks here. Um, yeah, probably I should do a little command, a little script to run this instead of opening this uh, window. And uh, yeah, I agree. It's something I should do, but I didn't. And I wonder if maybe there is a menu in Maya that, uh, come on, this, that does it, a command somewhere in the, in a menu, but I don't know. So if you know, just post it in the comments. I will appreciate that. But yeah, for the moment, it's not so long, so it will do. Okay, so we have the gimmick joys in place. It there are add to the skin cluster. Just saving them. And now I'm gonna go to the ng skin tools and initialize the painting. So the first thing I want to do is edit the uh, mirror template because um, I know by fact that this is not gonna work out of the box with the mirroring. And the reason is because with this gimmick system, we have two joints in the same space on the same position. 
of course this is on purpose but at the same time uh it will confuse the the rules for the mapping so i'm gonna edit the influence association let me check oh 10 minutes it's not bad so let me check here what we have so here these these little arrows when it's one direction means probably it's not good the connection it should be both directions if you know there's a full symmetry so it's gonna take all of them disconnect the links and just a quick overview maybe we, we catch something else that is not okay like this the arm so you see here it is it says okay this is both direction but you know arm and blend arm it's not properly map um, blend, blend, blend. okay let's do this one first and if we find we miss someone we will search for this later so left uh, blend left blend and uh, leg and uh, blend leg 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 okay so we see here the leg is not in place and we can see here this one end with blend and disconnect go back and and now it's clear this one leg leg oops nice my wow Today my Wacom is just slightly off. That's weird. Okay, blend shoulder. You see, I'm clicking here and it's taking the the other li line. So this one and this one and 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 the last one. Oh come on, come on! Woohoo! Give up, mouse. Oh, that's terrible. Welcome. It's not very, very precise. Okay, close. So the uh, template it's apply, and this template it's on the uh, Maya session. If we close Maya and reopen this scene, it's gonna be lost. Unless last time I check it. So be careful with that. Okay, so we have here everything ready for the skinning. So let's start with the uh, with the wrist or the this end here. So probably let's um yeah. By the way, uh, the joint looks like it's not rotating, but this is how Maya draw this icon or joint. Uh, shape but it's rotating you can see here okay so let's uh this is gonna be blend something so we can go here and say blend arm i know it's l or something like that let's see so we have the blend arm and the blend arm end and this one is the end so if I select it and paint here you can see it's highlighting light blue mm. well, that is the same blue as the control so I hope it's not misleading and just for safetyness I'm just gonna duplicate the layer so we, we keep one as a backup thing and we can use it as a comparison later so select this paint and just gonna replace float there so we can see this one now affects this area here so maybe we don't want that affects that much we can later edit this balance or so on but for the moment it will do so something like that and when it goes down it's clearly it's getting nice results if we compare with the other one that we didn't make yet the mirror 
So a bit more roundish. So that's yeah, that's an improvement there. Here for the um, I'm just gonna change to FK. That's gonna be easier. For the shoulder one, I can try here. I just um, okay, maybe around here. Um, let's do this by painting. So blend. Uh, this is arm. Oh yeah, it was the same thing. Yeah. So it's this one paint. And I'm just gonna add something there. You can see I'm doing it really by probably here like this. I'm just painting and checking what what I have here. It's creating like better volume for the shoulders, maybe too much. It uh, looks like it's too muscle, uh, too strong now. But well, we can see. Probably you know better than me how to use gimmicks. Oh yeah. So we get this, and uh, just for comparison. can see here the difference so we we get but the volume preservation let me check the time okay 15 minutes it's 16 it's not bad okay here here probably we want to to have something better here so we're gonna use the shoulder one and again just go here the blend uh, show so we have the shoulder here and paint this area so for this area probably it's easier if I select the range from here to here, select the points and uh, paint with add, just adding a little bit of float. So you can see, maybe. There we go. So maybe too much. A little there. And now. Just gonna smooth a little bit. Okay, so we have this compared to this. It's not so much of a gain. I think this one, honestly, I think should go like with some driving keys going up. So push everything and the skinny should be a slightly different. But yeah, this was more like an example. So I think it will do for the moment. Not very convinced on the skinning, but yeah, it's uh, and here's anything. So I'm just gonna take um, okay. If I select the loop, oh thank you, oh thank you, Maya. Okay, this is getting super hard to select loops with uh, the Wacom, so I'm just going for the mouse. And let's try luck with this next one. Okay, points there, blend, and I know this is gonna be neck, so neck, it's only one. Paint and set. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. this is too much. I was pressing too much and the Maybe the tool is not that fast. Okay, now paint and a little bit of that. I'm uh, not super happy with this. I mean, this is not the greatest and better ever. And the other thing I want to do is uh, I'm just want to replace. I don't know. Let's say from here, it's a looping thing. It's keep all this area, and to be sure, I'm just gonna go 
and select all the point uh, here, here, like around this area. And I'm just going to take the neck also. So I want the neck base cut. So it's there. And add it to the um, to this area here. So now, okay. This is getting more and more frustrating with the selection and the welcome. I I swear it was working better maybe before, but yeah. Okay, and this one I'm just gonna smooth more here. Something like that. And maybe one extra here. Just one more, like this. So now we get maybe slightly better. And again, this part now it's controlled with this. So you can see before it was like that, and now it's like that. And we can even add less later. So now it's going to jump there. But they give you better. Obviously, you don't rotate the neck 100% from there. You should have something like that. So it's not that bad. And again, this is not something I'm especially happy with the deformation. It's just good enough to the explanation. Okay, um, we have this, we have the wrist. Let's move for the legs. So here, same thing. We probably want to select and maybe, okay, let me reset this. So here on the butt and the um, around this area and here all the way down up to here. We want this maybe moving more with the this mid joint. So blend leg something like that, and it's this one paint. And um, let's replace this one, okay. And maybe later float a little, so something like that. Not sure, yeah. So right there, and maybe to add some support here. Just gonna hide this and this. Okay. Probably here can be better if we add some extra support gimmicks and scaling and pushing out. But it will do. And um, yeah, we can compare now with the other so yeah it's better volume preservation the back area and slightly better deformation here I didn't spend obviously too much time trying to fix the other one if you remember it was just a brute force smooth but yeah let's like to like that always this crouch area it's something um that needs special attention. I read once that they call evil pole this one and this one here. Well, it's not that terrible. It depends what you need. In many cases, yeah, this is, will be good enough. Also, if we open like now this and this. Yeah, here. It's a slightly better support of the volume. Okay, it's almost done. Let's uh, do, do the ankles here. So for the ankles, I'm just gonna do super, super brute force. So it's around there. So we have a loop passing perfectly there. Okay. Okay, let's uh, leg, it's the end one. Paint and I'm just gonna flood it there. And they do some smooth and maybe 
uh no like that so personality is one i think it's uh yeah it's giving something but not that much and probably we want to um i put from here when we do this and also make the correction this probably needs to go there so on so it's not just adding the, the gimmick in many cases it's just adding also some dr set driven keys or other level of control to the joint itself so it will create a better deformation but yeah that's good enough and uh, yeah i didn't add on the fingers um sometimes i do it uh, to help support the deformation and the knuckles and the fingers articulation uh you you can do it as an exercise if you want it's uh i think it's gonna be much better deformation here and probably here is it's one of the areas that you have much uh improvement with this but yeah for the moment this is gonna be it I'm just gonna reset everything to the neutral position and yeah, I think that's all for this video. I'm gonna stop the just save version, stop the recording, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.